this is astonishing. This is uh, having to do with the pipelines, the gas pipelines in California. California earthquakes and the state could be devastated by gas explosions in the event of the big one. Sean Martin Express UK reports. A major earthquake in California could rupture gas lines across the state and lead to sheer devastation. This is what a politician has warned of. Nobody is telling us about these dangers, you see. We have to find them out ourselves. Now, California is a particularly seismic active region in the world as it sits on the San Andreas Fault, the Hayward Fault, San Jacinto Fault. It's in the subduction zone, as we know. And scientists have long warned that these faults, particularly San Andreas, could rupture at any time and could uh, cause widespread chaos across the Golden State, California. When a major earthquake hits, Californians will not only experience the natural disaster, but a plethora of complications which come with it, such as gas leaks and subsequent fires. Now, natural gas pipelines have been built all along the fault lines across California, a move which has been branded as a dangerous situation by local authorities, and residents have already had a taste of what may be to come this week. The San Francisco Bay Area was rocked by a 4.5 magnitude earthquake at 10.30 p.m. local time, Monday, October 14. And 14 hours later, south of that, we had a 4.7, again on the Hayward Fault at the junction with San Andreas at the Pinnacles. Now, as a result, five refineries in the area had to be shut down as a precaution measure. Bay Area Air Quality Management District spokesman Ralph Borman said, there is an automatic safety feature that kicks in. Those, uh, so those that shut down and the gases were vented in the flaring device so the hydrocarbons do not go out straight into the atmosphere. Berkeley City Council member Kate Harrison has previously said, quote, we have basically allowed ourselves to pump a toxic flammable greenhouse gas producing an expensive liquid into our homes across earthquake fault lines. It, would, uh, it will seem crazy in 100 years. We can see that uh, this is a dangerous situation. One expert says, uh, has warned the Californians should expect power outages and wildfires when the Golden State is eventually hit by the inevitable big one. Experts have for some time been warning of the big one. We're overdue. There's an earthquake hiatus and the geologists can't explain why. A huge earthquake measuring at least a magnitude 7.9, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, as centuries worth of tension building along the fault lines beneath California. Now, seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones, we remember her. She was the one that uh, spoke to us concerning Ridgecrest earthquakes and that the San Andreas is in no way lessened because of the Ridgecrest earthquakes. So Dr. Uh, Dr. Lucy Jones, a seismologist, said, following the big one, California will be ravaged by aftershocks, power outages, wildfires, and disruptions to the water supply. Dr. Jones wrote on her Twitter, quote, parts of SoCal, Southern California, that is, have power outages and wildfires. Imagine all the SoCal without power and with fires. Disrupt the water supply, add aftershocks, and you're starting to imagine what comes after the big San Andreas earthquake. Now, San Andreas Fault is of particular concern to seismologists, with many claiming it's long overdue for a big, huge, massive shakeup. Dr. Thomas Rockwell, a San Diego State University geologist, professor, and paleoseismologist, previously told KPBS News. Quote, I'm sure you have heard about the San Andreas Fault being overdue for an earthquake. So from dating past earthquakes, we know that the average recurrent interval is about 180 years. Well, one of the um, recent uh, updates that I had, the uploads of the long uh, videos from a USGS, said 164 to 165 years. But that's okay, given the benefit of the doubt, 180 years, he says. He says it has now been 380 years since the last large earthquake. So this has led to the idea that maybe we are overdue an earthquake. In any case, it's very clear 
that the southern San Andreas is certainly ripe for a large earthquake. And the question is, why hasn't it happened yet? If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.